you think my mum and dad are together? I mean, they didn't want to be when they're alive, so they still won't now. I don't know. I don't really believe in heaven and all that stuff. Well, there's got to be something. They just can't be gone forever. Sometimes. I see you in my dreams. You think that's because I'm crazy at all? Because I want to believe she's still there. You're not crazy, Vic. Maybe that's the way people do live on. Even if it's only through us. I want it to be more than that. I've always wanted to believe she's up there watching over me. And now you will be too. Because otherwise I'd be so alone. You're not alone, Vic. You've still got me. And right now I need you. What far? <laughs> you know what Val's like. If you don't stop her, she'll turn the funeral into a pantomime. <laughs> Let's get home, yeah. Hiya, Gran. Oh, it's good to see you. I wish I'd been out to Spain before. There's so many questions I need to ask you. It's been a long day. Your grandma's tired. Never too tired for my granddaughter. If you're worried, I can tell you, her dad wasn't in pain when he passed away. Oh, I'm glad, but there's so much more I need to know. I'll go and try Robert again. Did, do you ever talk about me? Of course. You were the apple of his eye. They've been gone so long, I was already started to forget about me. Neither of us could do that. In fact, we were talking about you the night before he died. Really? Yes. After all, you saved my life. What do you mean? Well, you must have told her the story. You heard about the plane crash. We lost my husband and Mark, and the farm was devastated. For a while, your dad thought he'd lose me too. I was on life support for weeks, and it looked like nothing was going to wake me up. Then he brought his new baby daughter to see me. Me? Yes. He remember putting your tiny hand in mine and me opening my eyes. So you see, you're very special to both of us. Yes, we thought that Andy, Darren, Zach and Sam could carry the coffin. Depends if Andy turns up. Why wouldn't he be there? No reason. He's, he's upset. No, he'll, he'll be there. And uh, did you have any more thoughts on hymns? Guide Me, O oh, Our Great Redeemer was one of his favourites. And mine. Excellent. I'm sure the church will be full. Oh, Jack was very loved in the village. He was never one for pomp and ceremony, so we should try and keep it as informal as possible. Exactly. We're celebrating his life, as well as mourning his death. No sign of him upstairs, either. Maybe he's in the fields. Or maybe he just doesn't want to be found. He's upset. Why does everyone keep making excuses for him? Because I know Jack wouldn't want me to give up on him. He'd want me to try and keep the family together. Well, I'm not wasting any more time on Andy. I don't care where he is. I don't care if I never see him again. Have you spoken to Robert? I left a message. He could have changed his number for all we know. He only ever cared about himself. Just like Andy. I understand how you feel about the way Andy's behaving. But it's best not to say too much in front of your gran. She's entitled to know the truth. She's an old lady. She's lost her son. We can't give her something else to worry about. So she's too old to know the truth about Andy? Like I was too young to know the truth about my mum? There's always some reason to lie in this family. Is that what you think of us? I've been brought up on lies my whole life. It's gone on so long, I don't even know what's true anymore. Don't know if you loved my dad. I loved him with all my heart. I wish I'd been with him at the end. So do I. If I could turn back the clock and change what happened, I would. It's too late for that. It hurts me as much as it hurts you. I never stopped loving your dad. And even if you don't want to hear it, I don't believe he ever stopped loving me. Some love stories don't have a happy ending. There. I've told you the truth now. Maybe all those things you said were true. 
Maybe you did love him and he loved you, but that doesn't mean you understand how I feel. Because even if you were in love, that doesn't prove that you won't meet someone else and fall in love again. I can't imagine that. But I suppose it's possible. And whatever Andy and Dad say, they've still got another dad. But mine's gone. Same as my mum and they're never coming back. I'm all alone. No, you're not. You've still got me. You don't want me. Not really. You just think it's your duty till I'm old enough to leave school. I've never been much good at motherhood. So I suppose it's true sometimes. It's not as if you're easy to love. Then I see that look in your eye. That stubborn, cussed belief that you're right and everyone else is wrong. Could be Jack standing in front of me. It's not duty makes me want to look after you. It's the one way I can feel close to Jack. We both loved him. That could help both of us through this. But you can't take his place. Oh, my mum's. It's too late for that. This isn't a proper family anymore. And everyone will see that tomorrow when Andy can't be bothered to turn up to the funeral. <laughs>